Bullcroft and welcome to Letters and Numbers. We will kick off very shortly. But first, please say hello to our in-house experts, the consummate computator Lily Serna and the ultimate utterer, David Astle. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to them both. And of course, it's also my pleasure to introduce our contestants for this evening. And first up, our carryover champion back for his fourth night, actuary Colin Turnbull. Hello, Colin. Hello. Now, You've been here for four nights. You've been, you know, playing very strongly and, and particularly in the numbers. Um, and you seem to have a pretty consistent approach to the numbers. What combination are you fond of and why? Yeah, generally just so I take one large number and five small. And I'll be pretty much it. It's one less thing to worry about when you're, when you're up here. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to the letters? Yeah, oh, just random. Random. OK, well, there's a technique for you. We'll look forward to seeing it being applied tonight. Good to see you back, Colin. And challenging Colin is educational book editor Prudence Frenzy. Hello, Prudence. How do you do? Now, moving back from the world of books uh, for a moment and, and a few years ago, you were actually doing some very interesting work in New York. Give me a little bit of an insight into that. I was working in the film industry as a costume designer, uh, freelance, which meant most of my jobs came from Los Angeles and I was on location. But I also did some smaller independent films in New York. So what sort of costumes would you have to come up with? Were these period costumes or contemporary works? Unfortunately, no period costumes, which I would have loved, but um, more modern, everyday. But intriguing clothing. Yes. Well, very good. intriguing words and interesting problems tonight, so good luck Thank and you. welcome. So please welcome our carryover champion, Colin Turnbull and challenger Prudence Frenzy. As the show gets underway, so too does the letters game. Colin, carry over champion. Off you go. OK, can I have our constant, please? Certainly. Let's start with S. And another one, please. T. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant. G. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. E. And a consonant, please. D. And another consonant. S. And a final vowel, please. And last letter, A. Well, it didn't look entirely random. 30 seconds. <laughs> start. Uh, it's a six, I think. And um, Prudence? I also have six. Let's start with yours, please. Staged. And yours, Colin? Staged also. All right, yes, could you verify? Good start. I think we all had the film industry in our mind, consequently two staged, well played, a good six. Uh, a couple of sevens here, but the one that I've singled out is dosages, D-O-S-A-G-E-S. -E good stuff, David. And well done to Colin and Prudence, very solid start for both of them, six points each. Second letters game for the night, and uh, Prudence, your first chance to choose. Hello, Lily. Hi, Prudence. Could I start with a vowel, please? Certainly. Let's start with I. And a consonant, R. And another consonant, D. And could I have a vowel, please? E. Could I have another consonant? C. And another consonant, please? N. Another vowel, please. O. And one more vowel, please. A. And lastly, a consonant. Thank you. And last letter, B. 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs>
many did you get? I managed seven. Seven is good. Colin? I've got seven also. Let's start with yours, please. Uh, carabine. And yours, um, Prince? Brained. Brained. <laughs> That's a, a very aggressive move, but uh, quite a nice word, David. Yes, it's a case of... Um... Pugnacity paying off. A good seven. Well done, uh, Prudence. And as for carbide, it really is one of the uh, uh, talismanic words on this show. It comes up uh, very often. Uh, the eighth that I found is debonair. D-E-B-O-N-A-I-R. Oh, and entirely appropriate. Why, thank you. <laughs> so, seven points each, Colin and Prudence. Mathematics time now with the numbers game. Six numbers and the basic principles of maths, addition, subtraction, division and multiplication are all that you have to work with to reach that randomly generated target number. And Colin, choose the numbers, please. Just the same as previous times, one large and five small ones, please. Thanks, Colin. One large and five small. And let's see what we have. Two, three, one... 10, 4, the large number is 25, and the target to reach is 860. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds. You, you have that same sort of expression on your face. It must have been a tough one. And Lily, you're pressing your nose hard, so it must have been really difficult. Yes, I, I tend to press my nose when I'm thinking. Um, it was a tough one, but in the end I ended up making 86 and multiplying that by the 10. Um, and here's how I did it. 25 minus 3 is 22. Now 22 by 4 is 88. Minus the 2 is 86, and then multiply it by 10 is 860. Very elegant solution. I think I might go home and try that. Just sort of yeah. press my nose and see if my brain works better. This is my secret weapon. <laughs> it's a good one. The, the weapon of maths instruction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the way to go. The scores are absolutely equal at the moment. Colin and Prudence are both on 13 points as we go into our first break and our first word mix for the night. It's sight, goat, and your clue, you need to do it to solve it. We'll be back soon. Yeah. 